That us into pieces, everlasting Father, the wonderful Counselor. You are omnipotent and omniscient, the loving Savior. Jesus, the rock of ages. Jesus, the mirror of justice. You are the morning star, faithful God, merciful God, helper of the needy, speaker of the poor. Jesus, most powerful. Jesus, most prudent. Tower of David, salvation of mankind, you are the gate of heaven. Jesus, the wonderful healer. Jesus, the miracle man. Jesus, the sight of the blind. Jesus, the great physician. Jesus, the mighty, wonderful, brave soldier. Give him a clap. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He is wonderful. You must obey him. Everybody praise the risen Lord, oh yeah. Yeah, he's the Lord. Everybody clap your hands, stamp your feet. Yeah, he's the Lord. Jesus Christ is the Savior, yeah, oh yeah. Created by God, 
For they said that you have vowed to the devil that will be giving him one man every week if he continues to increase your wealth. For the sake of money, you have done to be a murderer. What of you, Confucianist, man who has been snatched of his senses, talking over the radios and televisions, that there is no God, opening your wide mouth, shouting that man can develop himself to be equal with God, that you have done it. Aren't you ashamed of your wisdom? That is foolishness. You are still a kid to understand our Lord Jesus Christ as God. God is warning you right now. Many people who said such things in the past, we are killed by thunders and fatal accidents. You are seriously warned. What of you, witches and wizards, or vampire society, mami water or mermaid societies? You have been killing people every day. You vow that you must be drinking people's blood every day. Your wish crafts. The souls of the adults and children you have killed are before the Lord crying. You must get it hot on the last day because you are destroying the handworks of God. And you, the worship spouse of the so called God of Iron, God of Snake, Thunder, Bodum of Bodo, Abara, Amadioha, Obiamiri, Olasi, Ogugu. God of streams and rivers, you are sunk. God made it clear, he is a jealous God. Him alone you shall worship. These so-called gods you are worshiping, some of them are things made by men, or created by God, or imagination of men. They cannot eat, talk, walk, or save. Why not stop worshiping them and save yourself from this crooked generation? Get your Bible and know what God said about them. Exodus 20, verse 3 to 7. I believe you are making up your mind to change your present way of worshiping. God bless you. Don't waste time to change. His people, 
but a country with good understanding of its leaders. For through one man of understanding, a city will be filled with people. But through a tribe of lawless men, it will be made desolate. It is not right to favor the guilty and prevent the innocent from receiving justice. What you say can preserve life or destroy it. So you must accept the consequences of your words. A ruler without good sense will be cruel and unjust. And one who hates dishonesty will rule a long time. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked rule, the people cry. People with no regard can throw a country into confusion. Those who are wise keep things calm. Stupid people express their anger. But sensible people are patient and hold it back. If the ruler pays attention to false information, all his officials will be liars. If a ruler defends the rights of the poor, he will rule a long time. When evil men are in power, crime increases. But the righteous will live to see the downfall of such men. Don't spend your energy on sex and your money on women. They have destroyed many. Wine and women lead intelligent men astray. Many rulers have been greatly disgraced, and illustrious men have been handed over to others. Do not offend against the public, and do not disgrace yourself among the people. Be not a man of double face in the sight of men, and keep watch over your lips. Do not exalt yourself lest you fall. Do not say, who will have power over me? For the Lord must surely punish you. The noble man, the judge and the ruler will be honored. But none of them is greater than a man who fears the Lord. God bless you. Compressing the people of God. Forcing them to worship idol. Forcing them to worship God image. Forcing them to forsake their God. God surely. Family. 
You will just rush me deep into home of fornication, call herself today to feed the professional harlots and the safe grand math students of this generation who have abandoned their studies, chasing men on corners of the streets. Warning, warning, you man, you are destroying another man's children because you have cash and money. Question for you, will your family be at peace? Can God give you wise and prosperous children? The devil is waiting for you at the gate of hellfire to say welcome to his kingdom. Repent and save yourself right now. What of you, Mr. Woman? Please, I'm sorry. The way you used to dress now, I can't understand whether you are a man or a woman. If you want to be a man, ask God. He may regret you. It is time. And the way you used to dress sometimes, you seem to be like a masquerade. Are you doing these things with your senses? Why are you blaming God for making you you? Look, today, you are chasing men up and down. What is wrong with you? Destroying your image, bringing shame upon yourself, making yourself a hard luck fellow. I want to reveal a secret to you. None of these men will like to marry you when it is time. But you are good for parties and sexual deals. The unmarried ones, when they will marry, they will like to marry a virgin on stand and desert you. If you are wise, I mend your ways. God loves you and I love you too. God bless you. of the streets like mad and wild dogs. After practicing such bad and dangerous acts, they escort the ladies to abortionist theaters to commit abortion. Listen to 
this last message. You doctors, manufacturers of these dangerous drugs, men, women, boys, girls, if you don't remove your hands from such dangerous acts, you will never get peace in yourself and in your family. Some of you will die on natural death and get into hellfire forever. You are seriously warned, says the Lord. is warning all the nations God is warning all the nations God is warning all the nations God is warning sin God is warning all the leaders all the leaders of the nations God is serious in his warning God is warning amen you ways God is warning all the nations God is warning all the nations God is warning all the nations God is warning sin kills The talk of the town today is our country is rotten who is the cause? You yourself is the cause. You never want to repent of the evil you do every day. God Nobody can save this country from destruction unless you submit your whole being to the Lord Jesus Christ to reign in you before you can be able to rule your brothers and sisters through the superpower of the Holy Spirit. Who is the man who can stop bribery today in this country? Nobody. Even you, you are involved. Look at some of the criminals in our police force today. Who used to let the guilty go free and suffer the just. For the sake of one penny, they will let a murderer go free. The same thing goes to our custom men today. Some of them who were as poor as church rats went into poor custom and excise through bribery and Amelonians today through bribery. In many offices today, nobody can receive his right without bribe. If you say that these things I'm saying are not true, you are a complete liar and black demon's messenger. Go and check some of the tax offices, government hospitals, licensing offices, school boards, and so on. These criminals need to be checked. They are destroying the image of the good citizens. You must receive the consequences of your sins. The devil is waiting to drag you into hellfire unless you repent. You must vomit all you have swallowed wrongly. No mercy. The D-Day is coming. You are warned.
are you oppressing your fellow workers who are under you? Why are you cutting the salaries of your fellow workers? What have they done? Wickedness is very bad. A brother to the devil. Every day. Warning notes and suspension papers. Why are you suspending them? What have they done? Is it because they don't need before you to worship you? Are you God? Or is it because they are getting popular more than you? Mr. Bose, then you are having the fear that they will overshadow you. Or because they are not from your tribe or kindred. Remember what the Bible is saying in Proverbs 14, verse 31, 22, verse 16. He who oppresses the poor insults his maker, but he who is kind to the needy honors him. He who oppresses the poor to increase his own wealth or gives to the rich will only come to one. I come again. What of promotion? Give honor to whom honor is due, says the Bible. Why do you refuse to promote your fellow workers who are under you? Because they have nobody to speak for them or because they did not give you money? For it is against God's will to receive bribe or to give. Because you and them are not from the same tribe or kindred, read these passage of the passages of the Bible and know what God wants you to do. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 22 to 23. 20 verse 17, 15 verse 27. Please, my dear friend, you need a change. Give your dirty life to Jesus Christ. He will cleanse you and make you free. Otherwise, you will get it hot on the last day. him to give us his perfect and pure original love. There will be no problem anymore, such as tribalism, killing, hatred, robbery, mad dogs characters, tribulation, and so on. Remember that the Bible made it clear that he who hates his brother is a murderer. First John 3 verse 15. Some people who call themselves honorable, wise men of this nation, let me specify what I'm talking about. I'm talking about some of the officials stroke rich men of this very nation. You say you love this nation. You don't love it. When, when your people are dying of hunger, the poor masses, instead of establishing food industries, you keep on multiplying alcoholic industries where you get hot drinks and beers in millions, using them to poison and make useless the use of this very nation for the sake of money. Why the poor masses are dying of hunger, and some of you are using their fellow brothers and sisters' money to keep on buying plots and industries all over the world for themselves. Robbing by trick is very bad and dangerous. You are warned. You said you are a good citizen. You keep on building homes for prostitutes, calling them hotels. Why not call them homes for harlots? You keep on encouraging these Jezebels to keep on 
destroying, demolishing the life and future hopes of this very nation, the youth. Why not repent of your sins today and accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior? Why not use your money today to build hospitals, schools, help orphans, handicaps, widows, and for the propagation of the authentic gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ before it is too late? If you don't repent of this act, time is coming when the devil shall rise against the devil. By then it will be too late. God wants you right now. Repent and accept Jesus Christ and be free. God bless you as you do. And my body to burn. Burn.